get the gift. It's an exclusive perfume from that collaboration series we talked about. The one that's not available to the general public. Take it as a token of my gratitude for being my plus one. Your Magnificence, you're finally awake. We have another visitor. Quick, put on your cloak. You are, after all, the most formidable and fearsome witch of the deep sea. You need to maintain that sense of mystery. Oh, your Magnificence. Don't you remember? Have you been sampling your potions before they're ready again? You need to stop your habit of trying your potions as you're brewing them. You're not making soup, you know. Excuse me, I am Raphael. Are you the Witch of the Abyssal Rift? How dare you barge in like that? That's so rude. Wrong! It's your magnificence to you. Pardon me, your magnificence. I desire a magical potion that can transform me into a human. It is to fulfill a single wish. Oh, I know! You fell in love with a princess on the surface! Or perhaps a beautiful and kind-hearted maiden. How sad! How could you have fallen in love with a human? They only have two legs and don't have the beautiful fins. And once you betray the sea, you'll be hit with a dreadful curse! You'll endure immense pain, and then you'll dissolve into sea foam. Not a single scale left behind. Oh, no! Don't die! Blue! <laughs> that was great. I moved. No matter the cost, I'm willing to shoulder it. Hmm. You make it sound so easy. Do you have any idea how precious the potion is? It will take her magnificence to work for a hundred days and nights. It needs a myriad of troublesome materials that you can't even begin to count. And the three most precious things from the vast sea. A gem that forever shines like the moon. A stream that never wanes with time. A voice that sways like the tide. Hey, dummy! Why'd you say all of that out loud? That's the Magnificent Secret! A gem that forever shines like the moon, a stream that never wanes with time, a voice that sways like the tide. <laughs> I've got it! Even if I have to venture into the unreachable abyssal trench, I'll still get them for you. It's a deal. It's been three days already, and that Raphael guy still hasn't come back. 
It's been 30 days, actually. He must have given up by now. Maybe he's fallen in love with someone else? My feelings will never change. Did you bring all the materials? Of course. I've removed the softest scale from my neck. Under my power, it will forever shimmer like the moon. I possess a life that is everlasting, so my blood will forever flow, just like the unending sea. I've captured a melody within this conch from the far eastern sea. I believe it truly resonates like the captivating ebb and flow of the tide. Is this what you were looking for? Oh, he died! Nah, he's just passed out. He yanked off the most precious scale and bled a whole bottle's worth. It's no wonder he fainted. <sighs> oh, he's awake! Where am I? You're at the Magnificent's residence, of course. You nearly died. It took the Magnificent several potions to bring you back. Understood! Blue, come help me! I was thinking about how you truly are a kind person. That's why you're a beautiful and kind-hearted witch. She's captivating, much like the sea. When she's quiet, she's like the shimmering surface of the sea. When she laughs, she's like the dancing sea spray. Of course, when she's angry, she's like a storm at sea. Are you awake? I've noticed you've been sleeping next to the cauldron these past few days. I bet you haven't been getting much rest. I'll keep watch tonight. You can sleep. See the moment its color changes from moon gray to lotus blue, so you can add the blood of the muscle moon eel, right? Do you like it? This is the melody my beloved adores the most. Back then, I would often play it on my flute beneath her window, serenading her to sleep. I can play it for her right now. Still, I want to do so much more with her once I become human.
You don't want me to die? Do you remember the last time you gazed upon the moon? Next time someone asks, say you saw it with me. Have you finished making it yet? Of course. Yeah. Beautiful. If I finish this, I'll become human. There's no moonlight as clear as this by the coast. This is the spot. May the blessings of the abyss be with both you and me. The most potent magic potion doesn't always need to be consumed to work. Don't be scared. Look around. You're actually quite familiar with this sea. The first time you came here, the fish kissed your fingers. You said it tickled, didn't you? I kissed your fingertips beneath the window after, and you just laughed, humming some random song. <laughs> and you're sometimes a bit out of tune. Yet I find your voice more enchanting than any melody I've ever played. You've never truly belonged to the Abyssal Rift. You've just forgotten. You should embrace the moonlight and bask in the sun. That's when you'll truly be yourself. Taking so long to react. Aren't you going to look away? Still have quite a bit of time. You 
humans can't stay in the sea for too long. I'll get you back to shore. Ouch, that hurts. Wake up. Hey, wake up. What's gotten into you? You were screaming in your sleep and you almost dislocated my arm with how hard you gripped it. I couldn't reach you for more than a day. I finally found the spare key to your place and rushed over. Turns out you were sleeping. What did you dream about? Here, have some water first. You've been shouting so much your voice is hoarse. <sighs> it's an interesting dream. I got too invested. What did the me in your dreams give you? Perhaps you've been having these dreams because you haven't been resting enough lately. It's still early. Do you want to sleep some more? Just to set your mind at ease, I won't turn into sea foam and disappear right in front of you. <laughs> Got big dreams, huh? Sleep. Don't worry, that was surely just a dream. Thank you.